hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is caroline i am a trainee psychiatrist currently working in the uk i bring you content on working as a doctor in the uk motherhood and lifestyle generally living in the uk as a ugandan doctor so if you like this content please do click the subscribe button <music> today is less than full time i'm running a less than full time series because um there, there isn't much information out there about less than full time training and so every time i discover something i come back here and i give it to you guys because i'm sure so many people out there want to go less than full time but they just don't know how so today i want to talk about how to apply for less than full time in just five steps five simple steps like this and you're done five steps i'm sure this video will take for example only five minutes because it's so 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 simple or at least in my dinary the process was really really simplified so let's crack on the first step you need to do first of all is discuss your plans with your clinical supervisor in my dinary the clinical supervisor is the same as your educational supervisor so while in other dinaries you would inform your clinical supervisor first and then next inform your educational supervisor we don't have that next second step of informing the educational supervisor because the clinical supervisor doubles as the educational supervisor so step number one you have discussed with your clinical supervisor both of you agree yes you, you you need to go less than full time what's the second step the second step is to approach your college tutor in this particular case is for those who now have educational supervisors because some dinaries don't have college tutors and they have what we call educational supervisors playing that role so inform the educational supervisor or the college tutor in my case i informed my college tutor that i have plans of going less than full time and this is why but before that i had been discussing i'm um, giving them a hint before coming up to this decision because you know they keep checking in on you they supervise you and they ask you how are you doing how are you getting on what are you struggling with so my decision to go less than full time did not come as a surprise to any of them so after informing the college tutor the third step would be to inform the training program director now this is the most important person in terms of decision making when you inform the, the, the training program director they will ask you to fill out a form um this form will be able to give them the details of why you want to go less than full time so in in my particular case initially i had applied for um category three of less than full time which is basically it, you don't have to have a reason that's the new category of less than full time training where you don't have to have any particular reason you can choose to go less than full time because of lifestyle because you want to so that's what i had applied for initially but my training program director advised me to actually apply for category one and category one is because i have caring responsibilities i have children who are less than 16 years old so therefore i qualified for category one so they gave me that advice and then i was able to apply correctly so after informing the training program director pretty much that is like the most the most important part of the step. the third the fourth thing that i did was to inform our less than full-time champion in the trust just to keep her in the loop so i informed her um really the, she doesn't play a big role but she's there for support <sighs> the less the less than full-time champion really doesn't play a big role but she will connect you some to support groups of other less than full-time trainees in the trust and they'll help you to understand some of the technicalities of less than full-time training now the final step was for, was for me to inform medical staffing that actually i have plans of going less than full time in my next rotation but the final step is pretty much even done by the training program director the training program director did that for me once they approved my less than full time training she was able to communicate to everyone that was involved 
in payroll, medical staffing. They did a long email copying in everyone that I'm going to call less than full time training. So do you have any questions about this? Please put them in the question comment section below. I am happy to answer your questions.